When they said run the bike sale, I imagined we'd get clipboards and get to ask other students to donate bike goods. Not make everything ourselves. And that's why I say, when the principal calls you, don't answer him, Achilles. You know, if you keep bringing that up, it'll take you longer to get rid of that grudge you seem to be building up. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll keep this grudge I seem to be building up until we finish this crap. Oh, speaking of crap, I just dropped all the bat I've been making. Oh, Cupid. I'm sorry. It slipped out of my hand. That's why you hold it on the table instead of whisking it in your hand like a grandma. And that was the only supplies we had. I mean, there is more in the school pantry down the hall. A new kid, would you go with me to the pantry? We need a lot of supplies, and I could use a hand. Great. And we'll stay back here and clean up Cupid's mess. Was it my fault? I'm sorry we dragged you into helping us. You shouldn't have to waste your time listening to us fight. And fail at making cake. <laughs> Here's the pantry. It's rather big inside. The door is a bit tricky to open. Give me a minute. There we go. Okay. If you would get some of the sugar off that shelf, I'll grab the other ingredients. Perfect. Now we can... Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Um... A friend? Don't panic now, but... I think we're locked in here. No, no, no. There's no need to get worked up. In a while, Reuben and Cupid will realize we've been gone for a long time. And they'll come get us. I suppose we should just bide our time. Do you have claustrophobia? It's just a guess. I'd be able to know for sure if I used my gift on you. But I won't do that because I know you don't like that. I wouldn't want to anger you. What is my gift? Well, looking at you with my green eye, I can tell exactly what your gift is. And with my blue eye, I can find any weaknesses you have physically or mentally. It's not that useful in combat unless you know how to fight. Yeah, but I haven't used it on you yet, so don't worry. <laughs> if my dad could see me now, sucking up to somebody, <laughs> I don't think he'd be surprised. Well, my dad is very driven. I was kind of a weakling, you see, afraid of everything, and so he told me that I should, I need to build a backbone, which I'm having trouble doing, obviously. I was never as combative as he was. I was more book smart, but he wanted me to be a fighter, somebody who could protect himself and others. Which I can't blame him for, it's noble, but I don't think that's me. I don't even know why I'm talking about this stuff. What's okay? You, you think it's okay to not be the strongest person in the room? You think my dad should be proud of me no matter what? You would be proud of me no matter what? Thank you. Believe it or not, that actually makes me feel really good. <laughs> Though, I don't know how much I could relate to you. You don't seem to have any weaknesses. 
You're a very strong person. What? You... Let me... Use my gift on you? To prove me wrong? You don't have to do that. But... I am curious if you... Wouldn't mind... Fascinating. So you mean to tell me that your weaknesses- You guys aren't in there slacking off, right? We've got a lot to do, and I want to get home. No, we got locked in. Could you open the door for us? Oh, yeah, sure. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody about your weakness. And- Thank you for sharing with me. I'm glad to call you a friend. Okay, hey you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Right now I'm gonna read out some patrons. So here we have the anime lover Janet, Ash, Hannah Marie, Hannah Chan, 01. Lee Wolf, Hiono Fuko, and Ariana. Thank you to you amazing patrons. I appreciate you. And thank you to all of you who watch the video. Remember to get some good rest, drink water, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.